With due respect to Messi, maybe without him, would have, Nigeria would have beaten Argentina. But it was a very good game. I'm sure FIFA itself would be happy seeing this game. And our joy is that we have moved to the next round. Yes. Watch out for Nigeria. I think we did a very good job. Hace un buen, buen trabajo. No engañó, pero está bien. Well, definitely, you have to watch out for Nigeria. Well, it really feels good to be in the second round after being knocked out in 2000, 20, 2002. That was in uh, Korea-Japan in 2002. Yes, we were knocked out in that particular tournament. And, of course, South Africa 2010 also were knocked out in the first round. It really feels good to be in the second round for the first time after a long while. Well, this is Channels Television, broadcasting live from Lagos. I'm Cecilia Amogbe, and you're watching Sports This Morning. First, the headlines. Gallant performance by Super Eagles. But when will Nigeria defeat Argentina in a World Cup match? That's the big question. And also, is a sad one for Super Eagles. This man on your screen, a ferocious shot from Ogain Onazi, sent him out of the tournament. And more than four coaches have resigned after the team crashed out of the group stage at the World Cup from Labri Lamucci, from Sabri Lamucci to Carlos Quaresh. And who is the next coach that will leave his position? Well, and this is a tennis, of course, a minor scare for Novak Djokovic, a top seed at the tournament. He escaped the fate of his boss, talking about his coach, Boris Becker, who was actually sent out in the second round in 1987 at Wimbledon. Tyra Salam will be joining me for these and more after this break. I think over the past several World Cups, the U.S. has done pretty well. Um, the last one in 2010 when they advanced down in South uh, Africa, you saw there was a lot of buzz around the game and we saw some new fans come to the, to the professional sport in our country. And this one is just, it's like second to none. Um, for me, everywhere I go, uh, everywhere I am, uh, if I'm sitting on a train or if I'm sitting in a restaurant, it's amazing to hear people talking about the World Cup and talking about Morning, Tyre Salam is here with me. Tyre, good morning. Yeah, great to be here, Cecilia. Uh, it was an amazing day um, yesterday um, at the World Cup again. Nigeria served up um, a very good performance against Argentina despite um, the loss. Well, a good performance. And the picture you saw before I actually came to the screen is the Americans celebrating World Cup fever finally hitting the U.S. Remember, basketball is the most popular sport in that country. But right now, football is everywhere. Although they still call it soccer, but definitely football is a big thing in the U.S. Now let's come back home. Super Eagles, the performance over Argentina. Wow. How did you see the game? Yeah, yeah. I, th I thought it was a decent uh, performance. I thought it was... Um, a decent performance, especially in the second half. Um, in the first half, uh, um, it, was, it wasn't too good uh, for Nigeria. But then they showed character, character still to come back after going down very early in the game. And there's one thing I need to do personally. Yes. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a, it's um, known that you're most vulnerable after scoring a goal. Okay. You know? So it happened twice, twice in that game yesterday when Argentina went ahead. Nigeria came straight back up. Seconds later. Yeah, <laughs> and it happened in the second half as well too, 
when Nigeria equalized them, cuts in Musa very early in the second half, Argentina went down the other way and went ahead again through that header. Obviously, it was a defensive um, uh, mix-up uh, that resulted in that. Yeah, goal. But I need to do that research myself. <laughs> so, for me, it's really no, true that. Yeah, you just yeah, get yeah, that, yeah. Why you're busy celebrating, trying to you yeah. know, you know, solve all the moments, and of yes. course, your opponents will just come from nowhere. Yeah, but you need something concrete before you can actually agree and agree say, on that. okay, it is real. Now, uh, uh, you just saw Mikel a bit on your screen. Yeah. I mean, Mikel in the middle of the pack. Uh, is he really helping the Super Eagles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I think he's doing, he's doing his best. Um, obviously, Nigerians expect a lot from Mikel to be uh, being a franchise and um, so-called um, mm. franchise player. Yeah, biggest. Of yeah. And, and um, court. Yeah, yeah. The big in court. Yeah, right? yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, <laughs> okay. say but so Nigerians expect him to actually carry the um, the. Uh, the load on the shoulders, just like Messi um, is doing for Argentina. But uh, we have to understand Mikel um, is not our player um, at the moment. So, but I think he's done a good job. He's, got, he's done a decent job for the team in the middle of the pack, um, along with Onazi. Okay, exactly. Onazi, now the man yeah. on your screen. I mean, he's really been fantastic in, in this particular yeah. uh, tournament. But he, I mean, his shot that actually, we'll, we'll come, we'll come, we'll come we'll to come that to later that. on. Yeah. His, his shot has been really, really awesome in this <laughs> tournament. He's been, he's, been <laughs> all, he's been shooting on sites all through, right from the game against Iran. Um, to yesterday's game, he's been shooting on site and unfortunately he hasn't been, been able to find the target. Hopefully he, does, uh, he, get, he gets to find the target in, in the second round against um, France. Before him, we saw Joseph Yobo yeah. earlier. Joseph yes. Yobo, I mean, he's getting better. <laughs> I don't know about getting better, but all I can say is Yobo has been... Um, it's been very good. It's been magnificent um, for, for Nigeria. Ever since he stepped in for Bob and I, a lot of people were not very comfortable. Yes, with him coming when, in, partnering yeah, Omer. Exactly, yeah, because we felt um, it's not the Yobo that we used to know before. But right now, he's playing very good. You can't deny that. Okay, obviously, Nigeria considered three goals yesterday, but then you can't well, really it, it, no, The two blame goals him. we considered were goals that were meant to be, especially the second one, the free kick exactly. by the How do you Messi. stop that? How do you stop, how do you stop that? that? Exactly. And yesterday, we talked about <laughs> how uh, Vincent and Yaman would have to be on top of this game if you didn't want to um, concede, concede so many, many goals. goals. And that's exactly what it did. Three goals could have easily been eight goals. Yesterday, the, 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 the frustration yeah. on uh, Di Maria's face, you know, when uh, 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 Vincent Yama actually stopped him from scoring, yeah. and also uh, Gonzalo Higuain, Sev we, we saw that. Sev several. several other saves um, by Vincent Yama. Yeah, we went into the walk of knowing um, Vincent is, is our best um, bet. We knew all along that the, the back line for the Nigerian team, led by Vincent Yama, was going to be uh, the best um, part of this team. And it's proven it so far. Yesterday, before yesterday's game, he yes. made eight saves. saves. Yesterday's game alone, he made about 10, ten saves, saves in one game. So just imagine if we didn't have Vincent in goal. Like, you can imagine what would have happened to uh, that I, team. I don't want to uh, think no about disrespect it. No, to <laughs> Austin Ejide is a course. great goalkeeper as well. But Vincent has done a great job. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure Lionel Messi yeah, and, I, and the I, forward line in Argentina, they respect him a lot. I mean, Gonzalo Higuain yeah. and Gedi Maria, Lionel Messi. Say, it, we're just endless. Yeah. And I don't know what happened between Zabalata and Musa yesterday. Is wow. it, did he actually study his script? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, we have to give credit to Musa as well. He's one of those players that's, that has been panned yeah, by, by Nigerian, um, <laughs> Nigerians. I don't feel. Criticism yeah. brought to him and he has to step up his exactly. game. Exactly. And yesterday he just stepped up and actually with those two well taken goals. The first one. Uh, you might want, to, yeah, you might want to blame Zabaleta for it. He was slow to react, and by the time he did react, it was too late. The ball was in the, the back net. of the net already. And, and the it, second one, yeah, and the second one was a great goal as well. Two well taken goals by Ahmed Musa. Uh, thumbs up to him. Hopefully, um, he, he carries on in this form uh, for for the next round. But one thing I, I'm going to say about Musa is, uh, I think it's obvious now that he, he's a better goal scorer than an assist man. You don't expect Musa to give you that final pass uh, for a striker to Accurate score. Accurate pass and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, because he might find that very difficult ball. Exactly. When you give him the ball, and of course he is in the position to score, yeah. he can deliver. Especially with the space as well too. That's something Spikers are most exploits. Um, against France in the second round. He's very pacey Yeah, guy. against France, yes. <laughs> uh, 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 we, we saw what happened yesterday. Yeah. They were ahead to... We, we'll, we'll come to that, that much later. Yeah, but... but what what, what the, are the chances? Because if you check now, right now, we are having a man 
out Babatunde Michael, who was really awesome in the middle of the park yesterday. Yeah. And of course, you have El Chibu actually coming in. All Nigerians are, are tagged a uh, flavor. Of, and then the, yeah. I think there's a resemblance yeah. there. But uh, looking at Babatunde Michael, we will be definitely be missing him yeah. in the game against France. Definitely. What are our chances? Um, no, not, not a very good one for that young man there. One of those guys actually um, crashed the party. Uh, to Brazil, and he came in um, in, in that game against Bosnia, and he, uh, and he gave a very um, a short performance. And we hope he was going to carry it on against Argentina. But unfortunately, it looks like he'll be out, uh, definitely out of the France game, and it looks like he might even be out of the tournament. Yeah. Courtesy of that uh, amazing shot that he received on his hand, <laughs> it wasn't really meant for him. Yeah, it was twisted exactly. I think that was yeah. actually a goal-bound uh, a ball. Yeah, well, yeah, it wasn't meant for him, but it's unfortunate. Um, these things um, sometimes you get to receive these um, straight I mean, missiles. Onazi, on, 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 on had to, you know, whenever, whenever Onazi is going to take another shot like that, I and mean, he had to check if you have any this <laughs> <laughs> this because it's really it was precious, it was yeah. wicked. That's something yeah. called a wicked shot. And um, the players really have to start dodging for their lives. <laughs> <laughs> whenever Onazi is around him and he's about to shoot. Sad on for um, Babatun and Michael. Hopefully he can bounce back and from being um, a better player. We'll definitely miss him in subsequent matches. Okay, subsequent matches because I believe, I believe, I believe that we can. Okay, seven finals target. All right, uh, matches last night, of course. Some of the matches played last night. I will definitely give credit to Ecuador for being able to hold France to a goalless draw. France who actually scored nine goals in... Yes, definitely. How yeah. many goals? Nine goals in two games. They could not muster any against Ecuador. And of course, Ecuador were down to 10 men with their own captain, Antonio <laughs> Valencia, sent off. What? Controversial kind of, uh, controversially kind of. I think the referees in this tournament would really need more lessons. Yeah, and but because Switzerland and Honduras, Shakiri, that's the man who actually destroyed these Honduras, and of course led to their coach resigning from his position. Yeah, no surprise about the France um, um, result there because um, six changes made. They were through to the, to the second round already, gave them uh, a few chances to to fringe well, and still have the team. Yeah, yeah, but then, and a pop yeah, pop yeah, pop bar, no. yeah, they created chances. They just couldn't take them. So it, it really doesn't matter. They're in the second round already. It's not a drama. And okay. yesterday is on as well. We, we all know the results. Yeah, already. Bosnia, Iran. Of course, <laughs> we're really happy that Edin Dzeko had to come to the party leading yeah. his team over Iran. Minus, of course, yeah. that gave you know Nigeria a chance to get. To the second round yeah, minus, for the third time in their fifth appearance at the World Cup. Yeah, minus care there where when Iran got uh, one goal back and you're mm -hmm. thinking, okay, are they they're actually going? The yeah, they're going to come back and actually. No, win we knew that the, the list, but, the, the highest they could get would have been a draw, and of course, yeah, we'll still qualify because yeah, we exactly. had four points. Yeah, sure. So good for Nigeria. We're through to the next round now, and uh, bye bye to Iran and Boston. And thank you for coming to spoil the game. Okay.